I am Peter Hood, and I'm the chairman of the select board. And I'm Liz Sharp, and I'm a select board member. I'm George Longnecker. I'm on the budget committee and conservation commission. Elias Gardner. I'm also on the budget committee. Uh, Sarah Merriman. I'm the town clerk and the select board assistant. Phil Hayek, select board. Steve Martin, select board member. Dorinda Kroll, treasurer. Thank you all. Um, I'm not sure whether you're a real guest or not, but we welcome you <laughs> to our meeting in your camera. Agenda. And uh, do we have any amendments to the agenda? Thank you. Uh, a quick discussion about an RV technology issue and, and Marika's uh, ACS computer. Okay. We want, we, oh, we we're not talking about that. I think we're just going to add it over this. Yes, we can do it after. Okay. We can do it after. You called the meeting to order, right, Peter? Yes, I did. Uh, one minute after. Thank you. Okay, budget workshops. Reviewing 2019-20 budget requests, considering wage increases for town employees, action possible. So I've updated this again, um, and I've got things that there's, like what I printed out, there should be a question mark next to ones that I just wasn't sure if you wanted me to plug something in. So in the general government, there was select board courses, there was an expenditure last year, should we plug something in for this year, or just leave it at zero? Because we don't, haven't budgeted for it, but yet we've been deferred it. Select board course. I've been trying to go to at least one thing okay. every year, so if, if there's something If there's some worth, yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. yeah. So what are they typically? A couple yeah, hundred bucks? Uh, less, even, yeah. Right. Like 125, or or yeah, they, 75, yeah. depending on yeah. that. Yeah, depending on who's sponsoring it. So let's put a couple hundred dollars yeah. on it. Yeah. 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 Okay. Done. Okay. Um, county tax, they just had a meeting last Thursday. Um, according to Sarah, so we do not have an updated one. I plugged in the 17,900 number just as a number. Yeah. Um, so that one's in there. Um, so that's total government. Under administration, there's a question mark next to, there shouldn't be one there. Oh, okay, so these are gonna all change, uh, that one's that one's okay. You can remove the question mark from that. I've already taken care of that. Okay. Which one? Which one? The, okay. the health insurance under, on oh, the okay. administration. That's okay. been taken care of. And that is going to be down 7.3? Yep. Yep. Wow. We have um, less people on it. Oh, yeah. okay. Less people. <laughs> less people that way. Okay. Don't have to hurt them. <laughs> it's it's been many years thought. since I've seen the cost of health insurance no. go down. Not happening. <laughs> Um, so I didn't have any other things I was questioning here. However, you will see a lot of things that went down. Workers' comp did um, drop. Um, so uh, payroll taxes, I think that dropped because the hourly rate for like the delinquent tax collector changed and all. So, um, so. Other than that, the big one was computer maintenance, which had a huge thing last year, but um, we plugged in the $8,000 number based on our annual contract. contract. So the only other question is, and maybe we're gonna hear later from Sarah, but the only question is, is it time to replace any of our hardware? I don't know. Well, they told us when they came in that our hardware was good, but we did need RAM, and that's the issue that right. um, they're encountering with Moritis. Right, so oh. Dorinda, you probably can speak about it, because you're yeah. good in this. She had an, they did an update last night, RV Technologies, and then this morning, 
Marika had problems with her computer and was on with them for about an hour and a half. Okay. They said that one of the biggest issues is the amount of RAM. When they do these updates, it takes a lot of that yep. to do the update. So they suggested for like $89 or something, you can get, what was it, four or five breaks of RAM? Yeah, RAM is really, really cheap. cheap. Because yeah. she only has four, four she, yeah, gigs. Yeah, four gigs. Yeah. 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 I'd say max it out, yeah, whatever. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, the only, the only question is, isn't her computer one of the older computers? No. Yeah. Well, oh. uh, it, ACS came in and did a whole replacement. That was her computer over there. Um, and the, so it's been who's, two and a half ACS? years. ACS is, the, is our land records, the company we contract to do to uh, archive our land records. And they brought in new computers? They did. They came in and did a whole thing. And, uh, wow! Yep, I didn't know that. Yeah, they were here for about two or three yeah, days. So that's technically <coughs> their computer. It's right? technically their computer. Yeah. So maybe we should talk to them about it. They put in. Um, it was. We thought it was much recent. It, it was. I guess two and a half years ago they updated everything. Yeah. Well, I guess for eighty nine dollars is cheap. If it was a thousand dollars, I'd say we should buy a new yeah, machine. Well, right, but yeah. for eighty nine dollars. Because we do more than ACS on that computer. I mean, we do. That's the thing. That's the issue. That you know, she does. She, Nemrick is on that computer, and uh, so it's not just archiving land records. Got it. Okay. Got it. Um, and what about the RAM and the other machines? Mm. Everything else seems to be working. My computer's okay. working fine. Okay. I think Patty has complained about the fact that her, I was going to say that yeah, one. I think could use more RAM too, or something. It seems like it's. You know, she, she seems to have trouble with the check scanner. I don't know if that's been resolved or whatever that. Yeah, I don't think the check scanner thing is RAM issue. Right. But, um, but I believe that's one RB Technologies also mentioned could yeah. use some more RAM. They well, said we should the ask them. So it'll, it'll, it'll take them 15 minutes to run around and determine what the RAM is in those machines. I bet they have it. I think they did that inventory yeah. when we first yeah. looked at well, stuff. So they should know. We need to have a meeting with Ruben. He we and do. I have been playing telephone tag, but that's one of the things we can bring up. But okay. I mean let's if we're gonna if we're gonna do that, let's spend a few hundred dollars and yeah. Yeah. So is that number gonna change? I would just I would just recommend I mean there's there's bound to be who knows, there's bound to be something we need. This is based on our contract. Right. The SVU, so, so that there's no include, overages in there. And it doesn't include any hardware. It doesn't, right. you know, right? If we need a new board or a new RAM, or so I would put another thousand dollars in there. That's exactly what I was thinking. Time one one two. Yeah. I mean, RAM's cheap these days. Actually, even just you know, CPUs are <coughs> cheap. So. Everything's cheap. Everything's cheap except for people's time. Yeah. Really. Right. Yep. So. Going? Yep. All right. Um, okay. Next one that I think uh, I put out was Public Works. Ah, uh, yes. Ah, uh, yes. Those guys. Those, Those guys. guys. <laughs> okay. So Steve and I just had a little bit of discussion here. So the ones that have. The uniform safety equipment and DOT compliance. Well, oh, did I, oh, I took it off because we talked about it. Okay. Your asterisk was next it, to shop towels. Right? The, you know, the, shop, the stormwater discharge. Oh, yeah. So we that's put that in. Item. That's a new item. Yeah, that's a new item. That's compliments oh. of the state of Vermont. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Then we went down to shop towels. And then shop they towels. Don't. They've never been charged. So we've increased before. that no. number no. from. There are no new taxes, remember. Yeah. Right. That one's going up to thirteen hundred and eighty-two dollars. I'm sorry, during the shop, shop, shop supplies. Under garage maintenance. Yeah. First item. Oh, shop supplies. Yeah. yeah. Thirteen eighty-two. Instead of seven fifty. Mm -hmm. Instead of the seven fifty, correct. Right. Okay. Uh, was my next one uniforms? Oh. Yeah. Yes, it is. Yes. Okay. So we've increased that number to seventy-four hundred dollars. Yeah. And let's see, I take care of that. 
Changes. That's these are changes. Okay. Uh, Brightsville Beach We don't know what those are yet. So I just took last year's number and put that in for a placeholder. Yeah. Um, you know what? It should be the same because they. They, I think when the last time right school came in, they said that they were going to use a certain percentage per, it's per person, right? Per oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. And they weren't going to ask for another budget increase in X number of years, so I think oh, it's yeah. supposed to yeah. remain the same. Okay. 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 So we'll leave so that. Good. I'll so take my should. question mark off of that. Yeah. Okay. Um, and the other one was, I don't know if you guys can, I mean, zoning, I, these were questions I was going to ask of um, Mitch, but... Uh, let's see. There's nothing we had expenses for legal and advertising. Um, I know the legal was high because of one particular instance this past year, but he's budgeted nothing, and I'm just wondering if there should be. We should put a thousand dollars in there. But it under, doesn't go very far these days. Under legal, legal. Okay. Under legal. Yeah. and leave the uh, the advertising is minimal, so. I believe yeah. Uh, Leave that at zero. Okay. One make question that. Alright. And let's see. And that's it, folks. Okay. Um and so I have as placeholders in here um a two for wages they're in at a two percent. And the other thing I wanted to mention was there's a big decrease on highway because I believe one person is coming off on that. So coming off the health insurance? Yes. Yeah. Okay. So um, So what is what is the percentage final number? Well, you know the final adjustments? number right now, I believe is One million one fifty five six eighty seven. One fifty five six eighty seven. What's the percentage? It's like uh, point seven five. So down. 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 So oh, that's like seven percent. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Wow. So, so how did that happen? So what happened? Well, we had a lot of change, and that's my concern. I mean, the biggest thing was we had two health insurance. That made yeah. huge that makes a difference. big difference. Right. The other thing I want to mention on that was our increase was only 2.5 percent this year, which was very surprising in our rates. And the health insurance. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Health insurance. Yeah. Yeah. And I only budgeted a 2.6 percent for the following year, and maybe as safety precautions, because it was so low this year, I really did bump that. Well, up. Good job. I move we approve the budget. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You guys, uh, you have to vote on the wages. As you yeah. every year, yeah. we no, 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 no. Well, he's yeah. I'm just, yeah. I'm just, just I know, I know. But, mm. uh, county tax, do we, county tax. We, we, we won't that, know. We're um, not going to know on that. January. And fire department for fire uh, department. Yes, that's in there. That's, that's a hard that's, number. That's, that is a, okay. Yeah. So where's the um. Where did the emergency management, where was his budget? Was that? Oh, uh, yes, that yeah. was that was a huge increase. Yeah, but, but where is it? Like, it's, it's up finance. top. Uh, it's under, uh, let's see. It's under public safety, it's the public last safety. item. Page two. Page two. One third down the page. Yeah. Oh, okay, yeah. So. Right. But we're not anticipating having to rehire. Like, there's. It's not like this is. We haven't replaced someone in the town for the health insurance. No. Um, no. There was um, one of the situations was a family plan went mm -hmm. down to a yep. two person. And the other situation is, my understanding is they've gone to 
the spouse's plan. We're supposed to be getting a confirmation on that. Okay. But So, and please, everybody, check my numbers. <laughs> oh, no, wait, but hold on. I'm in my um, one thing that I do want to talk about again, especially because it isn't such a big increase, is that I did have on my calendar from like a year ago. I put things on to remember to talk about, or at some point we talked about it, was thinking about starting to build the building fund. We don't have anything in here about um, the building fund. Well, that was. You have, you have to go to the voters for that. Yeah. But we can't put anything in as like. You can a, put it as a separate warning article. Yeah. But we can't do any kind of line item the way we do like the paving fund and the. We have to create a fund. You have to create. You have to create. create. Right. Those were all created, and then you just funded every year. Right, but those went to a vote, to the voters, yeah. for those funds. At some point, yeah. Mm -hmm. to, okay. Just to establish the fund, and then I, I believe once it's established. You can budget money for it on an annual basis. Is that right, sir? That's my understanding. Yes. Okay. So yeah. The voters yeah. first have to exist. But they have to, right? right. Yeah. But I think that's a good but idea. Related to that, a, right? Related yeah. to that is just the whole issue of, you know, are we gonna, are we gonna, what are we doing about our deferred maintenance program at the town garage, here, yeah. and at my favorite building, the old fire hall. Are we going to paint the back side of the roof? Are we going to paint one more side of that building? Um, so wait, how much is in that right now? Not very much. No, right? no. We've, we've been budgeting like enough to do what, a side or something? Yeah. a year. Right. Yeah. Well, I don't, I don't think we should back up from that. We, you know, ought to continue to maintain even if we have a longer range plan to replace, you know, this building and we want to sell it and, and the and the old fire station too. Well, we want them in as good a repair as we can to get as much money Correct. out of them. Don't yeah. Think? Yeah. 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 Well well do you do you think the best use of this parcel yes. is is to keep these buildings? Undetermined. Yeah. Undetermined. I mean you know that's part of a that's part of a longer conversation Cause about if we're going to you know are we going to you know with that and that really is beyond the scope of what we're going to do tonight but yeah you know well, there's a scheme to you know move the town clerk's office upstairs in this building um which would be probably the most reasonable solution in terms of cost there's discussion of building a new building over by the town garage or by the school uh, if that's truly the center of town, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, that would obviously be a a much bigger, uh, oh, yeah, much bigger undertaking. Right. Um, but we are, as our town clerk will be quick to tell us, um, just about at the max with our with our vault here. Yes. So we're facing some kind of a. I mean, it isn't tomorrow and it isn't next week, but it's, you know, next year, a couple of years. I mean, right. we need to, we need to really have a long-term plan. And you know, the, the question is, and you know, I've been trying to think about what I would, what I would think it would be. But if you sold this piece of property in both buildings, depending on who you sold it to, there might just be enough money to build a new town clerk's office. Much smaller building. You don't need the. You don't need the hall, right? Um, right, because we use you know, school. Yeah. Don't need a basement, slab on road, whatever. Yeah. I mean, if you could sell this for, I don't know, three hundred twenty-five thousand dollars. So it's appraised at. Uh, that's what I think you'd probably get for it. That's a lot for a building. Yeah, it is. You have to sell both buildings. Yes. For sure. both. Yeah. And the land. And the, and the land. land. Yeah. I mean, it's prime. It's prime real estate. Yeah. yeah. There's a well on this property. Mm -hmm. Yeah. There are two. <laughs> so, so somebody could. Could buy this and build a residence. Uh, yes, they could. They certainly could. Yeah. But you know, you, to to uh, you know, the old the old fire hall is one issue. You know, somebody might buy this property and tear that down. But to buy this with the intent of tearing down this building to me would be. I mean, there are a lot of things you could use this building for. It's got a vault, and it's got a vault and an elevator. 
Yeah, an elevator maybe. Yeah, yeah a part time elevator. Part -time part -time some days we have a part time and two, elevator. And two uh, handicap accessible bath. Oh, one handicap accessible bathroom. So there yeah. you go. Have you uh, gotten a, a, a is a realtor or an appraiser giving you a value for this? No, nope. yeah, we, we haven't gotten there yet. It just feels like that might be light three seventy five. Oh, I don't think so. So is no, it something though that we want to put on our um, for the for the Board. voters? Yeah. No, I mean, yeah, for the for the town uh, meeting day. Oh, I think it's premature at this point in time. I think establishing a building fund makes sense. That's what I mean. But yeah. is that what we have to put in? Not town proposing, meeting? not proposing a not solution. Not proposing any. No, no, no. no. We'll just get a get but a fund. Doesn't that start have to go on fund. the yeah. town ballot? Doesn't that have to go on the ballot? Yeah, yeah. because of yeah. the warning. Warning. Yeah. yeah. So it's a yeah. But you're going to vote on that next month. And and you know. Oh, okay. So it's not something we have to do it. No, no, no. Town no, meeting. No, it's you guys are going to vote on the We put it on the wording, and then it's discussed okay, yeah, yeah, and voted yeah. on a town okay. meeting. Okay, all right, all right, all right. Got it. Um, you know, you know, as long as, long as we're talking about buildings, I mean, I just have real concerns about the long-term viability of our town garage. I mean, that building is a sorry building. Over and, by um, Remy? Yeah. 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 I mean, if we're, if we're, building, if we're building buildings and doing things, Maybe you build a new you town do. garage and attach the town clerk's office yeah, right there. Do them both at once. Yeah. 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 Because I think, and, and I don't know how you feel about that, Steve, but I mean, we could, we could pour money into that building like crazy and still have a crummy building. Mm -hmm. You know. True. So if the cement, if the cement is reasonably good, to wipe it clean and build a new, maybe larger, maybe not larger structure on top of there. By the time you really get that building energy efficient, I bet the cost would be almost the same. Oh, probably. I mean, there's not a lot of value in that. What's the traffic like here for you, people coming in and well, out of the building? What do you mean, tra coming in yeah. to see you? You know, or to see the, you know, information like lawyers. In and out of the building. Like in and out of this, not counting people who rent space, but to see you specifically or something about town. Uh, you know, it's all, it's very, um, it's very cyclical. So mm -hmm. we can have, we can be flooded from the spring through the summer uh, during building season. And there, so that you get a lot. So we'd be constant. Probably now it's very dry because it's the end of the year and it's Christmas and stuff like that. It'll start picking up in February. Stock market's tanking. Stock yeah. market's tanking. Um, I, not to cut you off, but yeah. let's focus on the okay. budget. But I, th I think I think what we're hearing is that we want to establish a building fund. We can't budget anything for that building fund because it hasn't been established. So we're back to, I mean, the, the, so the big the big variables in here now for me are we got the wages at two percent, depending on who you listen to. Can yes, ma'am. Can I, can I comment on the wages, Chair? Just, just let me okay. summarize, and you can comment on the wages. <laughs> wages are never enough. That's my comment. But anyway, <laughs> um, you know, and and the uh, the building maintenance. I think our I think our vehicles and equipment are more or less taken care of. I mean, there could always be an unpleasant uh, right. surprise, but I think we're in good shape there. And uh, the other items are. Not peanuts, they add up to real money, but I don't think there's a lot to talk about unless anybody disagrees. So, on wages, and it's interesting because I've been in four of these wage discussions in the last, in the last month, and some people are saying, claiming, whatever, that the federal rate, federal inflation rate, I'm not saying Look at her smiling. <laughs> it's 2.8. That's correct. Yeah. Oh. Now, I just Googled it for the Northeast, and it actually dropped this month, so it's, it's going to finish the year at 1.9. What's the Social Security COLA this year? 2.8. 2.8. Which is historically a pretty conservative yeah. number. And there was nothing last year, I think. Right. right. I would propose a three percent. That's what I got at my poor nonprofit. Well, that's where I was thinking too when I looked at the the one point nine, and, and the reason for that is to say, if if the one one point nine or two is in fact inflation, that's keeping you level. 
we worked to get our wages up a little bit, especially like with the you know with the road crew and other positions. And I'd hate to see us <coughs> step back. And I think by <coughs> going with the two, if we just stay in that realm, we're actually going to lose some ground. So I, I would certainly be in favor of, of three. What would three make us look like during the? Check and see if it calculated in all the taxes. Oh, right, you have to do right. all the other yeah. stuff. Um, yeah, so um, that's still, that's why I'm very concerned because it's still showing us being under, under, under budgeted. So I'd have to go back and okay. check all these calculations. Okay. Um, what do you guys think about 3%? I mean, I think I, I agree with what Phil's saying. I mean, we at least do the 2% to keep us level. But we're trying to build that up. Um, so I'd be, I'd be in favor of the 3%. But. But just to be clear, we're not finalizing the budget tonight, right? No. You're not finalizing the budget. All I ask is that we get a wage vote because Patty flips out otherwise. She um, wants a vote on wages. Just but this is not, oh, wait a minute. this is like next July. Yeah, but you know, we always go through this. She always wants an article. Well, we'll have it when it passes, right. but she doesn't need it for the next vote. For the next Why No, I know, it's just that she always, and then it seems like we always go back and ratify a certain wage increase. Or I don't know, Peter. I'm just, we've gone, you and I have gone through it. Right. Her. Yeah, but that's that when we implement the, when it passes, you know, then you that, can, Right. Yeah, we'll, we'll do it. That but just seems just ridiculous. It seems like when the town voters vote on the budget, and if the budget has a certain increase, that's it. I don't know why that, you. That was my sense too. But right, but I'm saying special... that it's nothing that until we, the select board, passes right. the budget, she's nothing she needs because it doesn't right. take effect for right. July. Right. 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 I mean, and, and, and honestly, I mean, it's just. It's a proposed number until the right, budget right, passes. Right, right. I mean, I can see, you know, some kind of action once we have a voted budget to say we're going to ratify, or you know, I guess so. ratify that. But I'm, I'm not For even the sure auditor. that's so, right. necessary. But. So we're not. So, so you're feeling a little uncomfortable with this, regardless of the calculation here. No, uh, no. I'm just saying that I'm not sure if it's capturing all the taxes and everything because I went from. It dropped it to a point four five, still under budget by point four five. Yeah, that doesn't seem like it. Which right. doesn't seem right. like it right. So I have, right. I think I have to go back and redo the. Right. Um, well, because weren't we at some point like around three, like when we first started this, or even higher? Oh, and we so, were way higher. And yeah, the health insurance is a big thing. The, the I know health that. insurance is huge. And That's why I'm mm. wondering, like. That was. Um, but let's just let's just pick out the the way just to get a just to get a general idea. And I understand the thing about taxes, but if we said so, there's twenty four. Uh, to public works. calculate, at least in that one, it put in the taxes. Um, 
Can I also ask, when you're talking about these increases, is the select board getting the same percentage? I mean, I know for years you guys just took a flat Correct. Uh, rate. And over the last, I noticed like last year it went up the same. It went up percent. the same as yeah, everybody everybody's. else. So is that, I mean, I just want I to I think what we decided clear. is, I think what we decided is that you know, we should get the same increase across the board. Yeah, all the way. Yeah, all the way. Our share is our share is P nuts. Yes. Right. So I just Lee, who is a select board member in Orange, the they get a thousand bucks. Wow. Oh yeah. I think you guys should. Well, and I, and I think that's why we decided to start taking at least the incremental sure. pay increase. Thousand bucks at least. Sarah, I don't think I don't think any of us are in this for the money. No. Yeah. <laughs> Every penny counts. <laughs> Every penny counts, but it isn't like <laughs> that extra six hundred is the difference between solvency <laughs> between between <laughs> dog food and hot dogs. <laughs> but if if just if just if just in round numbers, it's. It's like two hundred and thirty thousand with all the miscellaneous payrolls in there. Yeah. So one percent. No, it's more than that. Why is it more than that? Is that two hundred and thirty thousand? Because you went twenty four up there, and then you've got another fifty four right here. Oh, what are I miss? Administration. Yes, I did. You're right. So there's another. I knew that something was. General uh, government gross wages. But this has to do with changing something with this. What? Like, right. you know how Office staff fifty makes less as a clerk, but it 50. gets probably added into here. And then right? the. Uh, this sounds year, like it. Sounds counters, like it did it. It must be. Yeah, those are gross wages. Um, I don't know. The only thing I don't know is which. You're not talking a ton of money here, but the no. the yeah. payroll taxes, right. whether yeah. or not those came. And so wh forward. where is that? So that leaves us at. We're like uh, two eighty five. Right. All together. So, so that one so that still that. leaves us at four percent minus. Point four six. Point cut. Okay. So. Uh, now, I didn't put in a number for any building, like, repairs. So property town, maintenance. town property maintenance is, is there, there's another one under the town garage, isn't there? Yeah, the town property maintenance is up in the, in the general government. Right, that's this building. Yeah. Oh, a lot so. of it, too, is these stuff here. We don't have any more debt on those. Those yeah, trucks. there was a lot of debt that went yeah, away too. The we, oh, that's a, yeah. that's a good. So one. there was a lot of really good things that make it. The this debt happen. service went down by less forty three percent, minus yeah. forty three percent. Just remember, we're about to buy a new grader for the tune of a quarter of a million oh. bucks. Or I think they cost more than that. We get a little trade in. Um, we're gonna buy a small one. <laughs> we're gonna pay a baby bucks. <laughs> <Those. laughs> Yeah, when is that coming up? Um, it's next year, isn't it? Next year, the year after. I think next it's the year, year after. We would buy it next year, but yeah. we would incur the debt the following. Correct. How many so, years for that? And, <laughs> well, and how long made, do you keep them? I'm just curious. Well, we kept probably it longer. Means. We kept this one longer because right. we did the rehab. We rehab. put a bunch of money into it. Right. So what do we have? We have, we have town property maintenance is, what, three? 330, 30. That, yeah, that's just a number for um, mowing the lawns here. Oh, okay. Building repairs, and then we have 3,500 in for building repairs. That doesn't go very far. And then we have yeah. something in the town garage, right? That's in the fund. I believe, right? Mm -hmm. Mm. Yes, we do have so hold on, none of these guys are going to be, these things that we are losing all this debt service on, none of them we're going to be replacing with a new a piece of equipment. Where are you? Like right them? here. What do you say right here? Oh, I see. Well, if we're incurring, if we replace it, we're still not going to have the debt 
for it in this budget till the fall, year. Yeah, till the fall. Right, okay. I mean, just because eventually it's going to, you know, if we have this increase of, I mean, a right. decrease in our budget and then suddenly right. we have to well, get all these the, new trucks. That's the potential that could happen here. You hate to have it double right. the following yeah. year. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Well, next year, but what can you next do about year that? we're going to replace the one time. But there won't be any. Now, you know, there's a, you know, there's an interesting question. If we are going to replace the one ton and our budget is in a minus, do we want to plug $10,000 in there and make a damn down payment on the truck instead of just putting it all to debt? Well, that's I mean, what I'm that's, wondering. That's one way to even things out a little bit in terms of the. Yeah. What's, our, what's our cost on a, on a one ton? With all the equipment on it, it's. <clears throat> we just paid. We just paid. Hundred. Hundred something. Hundred something. Yeah, but the one ton is the, the one ton's like eighty or ninety grand, isn't it? With all the, with a dumb body and the plow and. The, well, we we didn't buy a one ton. Right. We we bought a larger right, truck. Right. 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 Yeah, and we were definitely over a hundred with it. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely yeah. We were over. Right. 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 How much one ton should pay on, on the debt? Pardon? What's, what's the rate on the debt, though, if you just bought, take that $10,000? We didn't buy it till, um, that's the 2000 and... No, the prospect of the next one you buy, what's the rate of debt? Oh, we well, pay, yeah. it was three, what was it, three something? I think so. Yes. I think it was three point something. That it used made. to be in the twos, but now it's in the three. But even at three, would it, would it make more sense just to create a fund? To put that money in, earning interest for the year. Mm. Well, there's the there's the old question. You know what? Okay. Well, <laughs> I don't think you'd, oh, don't think you'd even out. Yeah. I mean, we can always so the, the, where we have where we have flexibility is these notes are now all all the notes we were due to one year notes, right? Yeah. No, we did uh, so right, but we can always pay down extra principal. Yes. Yeah. You can always so, pay it down. But so didn't we go three years? Three. We went, yeah, I think uh, we bought. On the one we went five, five on, and one we renewed. That was a one year. We went to five, or right. three or five on. Right. I think. Yeah. But the, my point is, it doesn't make any difference. My, my my point is that we have the opportunity to pay down debt anytime. Yeah. By making extra principal payments, right. and you know that is a way of. Keep levelizing to your point, you know, right. trying to be well, consistent would, in terms of our yeah. expenditures rather than. I would be in favor of paying the debt down whatever we could. Right. Now. Tonight? <laughs> well, maybe not tonight. <laughs> but or, do we want to? Do we want to? Do we want to budget that we're gonna? Yes. Right. Yeah. So, you know, originally when we started this process, ha ha, we talked about a 2% number, just as a number to talk about. The budget. Right. Yeah. Right. Well, if, if we have 2.4, whatever it is, to get us up to the, that's a real number. That's real money. Mm -hmm. But let me ask you this, if paying down the debt doesn't help us for um, the fact that we're going to have to, for, for, for this debt burden that we don't have anymore for next year, when we replace these trucks, we're still going to have to take on more debt So pay, and still paying that old debt. So even paying off that debt, it, I'm afraid that if we bring our budget up by, you know, to say 2%, because we're paying down existing debt, we're still going to need to take on new debt, and then it's going to go up even higher. Our budget. Yeah, but right now, it. yeah, but right so now. So why can't we do the down payment thing, down. like you said? Well, what what are we what are we replacing next year? I don't think we're replacing okay. any big things next year. That's the okay. Point. So we're having a couple of years of nothing on this debt, no debt service on these trucks right here. Right. Okay. All I was, my point is just simply, if you're taking this $10,000, use it on something where you're going to get a greater return than just 
the, the low level of interest we pay by prepaying on a piece of equipment. But by having a fund, it has to go to the voters, and then what we're saying, if you've decided we to don't want to, I, fund, I am, I am dead set against getting back into the equipment fund. But that, that's where yeah. we were years ago, and that was a an fund? Not necessarily. I mean, if you, if, if you, if you're looking for a way to, my understanding, of what you're, the thinking here that's driving this discussion is that you're looking at the, the, the surprise of, of not having a three percent budget increase and figuring out how can we. Do something well, like that, and I'm just saying. So, as a as a long term goal, yeah. we try and avoid taxpayer shock. Right. The tax there are two kinds of taxpayer shock. One's better than the other. <laughs> <laughs> the taxes going down is a lot better than the taxes going up. But to try and be consistent in our rate of increase in expenditure has always been a goal, and we've been pretty successful yeah, yeah. at it over the over the years. So all I'm saying is, when we have a year where we have an opportunity, now, you can always just spend money. I mean, there are plenty of things we could spend the money on, but we've already spent the money on those things. I don't know. So it's what would it be, a line idea. item called debt pay down, or we could choose yeah. which one yeah. we wanted yeah. to pay down? Yeah. I don't yeah. think that sounds yes. good. I don't think we can prepay anything. You mean like for a new piece yeah. of equipment? Yeah, I don't think we can either. No, we got we got our hand slapped yeah. when we bought a bunch of uh, sand one year and okay. snuck it yeah. in under the wire. Yeah, yeah. They, didn't, yeah. they didn't like that. Yeah, yeah. but well, we, we can, can but pay we can pay on principle. Sure, pay down. Yeah. yeah, I think we should. I also think we should probably maybe allow for a greater increase in health insurance than what I allowed for. Take some of that cushion and put it into that number. Sure. I mean, I think 2.6 was... No, that was freaky low. Freaky low. Uh, and what low. about the discretionary fund? Do you like to keep that at 5000 like just a handful of money for just various little things, or do right. you... Yeah, yeah, right. yeah. Okay. Because, because otherwise, otherwise we're really creating a slush fund, and yeah. I don't, okay. I don't like right. the idea of a slush fund. Um, but I guess, I guess what I would say to... to you know, unless we want to continue the discussion, is to have Dorinda do some creative accounting and put some money into um, building repairs mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And, and insurance and pay down some okay. debt and, and bump up and bump up the a little the insurance a little bit, but make it come out to two per, right around two percent. I mean, I don't so know. It's two point one or one point nine. So it's like yeah. a two percent increase. Two percent yeah. or under. Yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. Or yeah. A little under. Yeah. All right. Which means you might be able to pay down twenty thousand in debt. Right. Probably. Yeah. Which would be great yeah. because it's going to help us down the road. Well, because because in a way, what we're doing is getting ready for that greater purchase. By, right. by, okay. By reducing our debt now. But so so Steve, on these trucks, I'm just looking at all these trucks that no longer have debt service. There's like a bunch of them. Well, it's not really because it's principal interest. Really, yeah. <laughs> But, like, get too right? <laughs> yeah. but it looks like there's the 2010 International, there's the 2014 Western Star, there's the 2015 GMC, and there's the 2014 Komatsu. That's four things, right? Am I reading this right? These are four trucks that starting in 20... Or, Fiscal year 2020 budget. Well, the Komatsu is a loader. That's a loader. That's well, a loader. whatever, but pieces of equipment. So all of these at some point are going to have to be added back into the budget. No. Well, the, 2000, As a loan. the 2010 anyway. dump truck was replaced. That that's was one replaced. Because it's, it's, it's replaced. replaced. Where? Right next yeah. to it. Says, it says right. replaced. Says replaced. Oh, okay. It's replaced. replaced. Okay. That's, that's zero. Yeah. Up yeah. above yeah. International yeah. 2018. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> So that one's done. So that one's done. Yeah. So though I don't know what the Western Star or the GMC is what one. Well, we're are. trying to keep the we're trying to keep those seven years, right? So it's a 2014. That's 21. Okay, I'm just wondering. Do you know what those are? A Western Star and a GMC and the Komatsu. Those loader. are big trucks. A loader would last more than seven years, wouldn't it? No, a loader lasts a long time. That's what I mean, more than seven years. Oh, yeah. Right. So, 
so that doesn't but but the, i would imagine that gmc thing will get replaced i mean i'm just trying to think like down the road because in the past thing. yeah for but, but if it's seven we, years that's that's two years from now okay the, the western star would be first yeah that's about us and that's like a dump truck right big mm -hmm. dump yeah big those dump are both truck. big and that's 2021 i mean the big the big bug of what we have is the greater yeah as long as we keep putting our hand, head in the sand and running Is that going to have to be a vote to the town because of the amount or not? The greater? No. 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 Because it's, it's not highway. 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 Yeah, the only time you went to the town is because you're financing but, it over and, seven years. And that's been in our over ten years. ongoing projections okay. for replacement. Um... This is where your property taxes have been going. Paying for all this expensive stuff. <laughs> Roads. All right. So add a. Yeah, I like um, your idea, Peter. Pay down. I mean, just to say. I mean, I'm so not. I'm not saying right. we're going to do no. that, but at least gives us an idea what it what it looks like, what impact it'll have. You know. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I agree with that. So as of now, if we did nothing except the wages, the increase would still be under a half percent. Would be minus, about, I would minus say, about a half percent. Yeah, yeah, right. yeah. Level funded or something because the taxes aren't in here. I think you're probably looking at level funded okay. well, if at best. Good. All right. Great. So leave it. Other, <laughs> I have no any other thoughts, this. budget committee? Does that <clears throat> approach make sense to you? I mean, we're not again. We're not finalizing it tonight, so you got time to right. you got time to think about this. But uh, this will be finalized. Do some soul searching over the holidays. Yeah, yeah, right. <laughs> when you're when you're packing in those extra calories. Yeah, right. I'm sure, I'll be thinking of this. When's the next meeting? Over my holiday dinner. That's so. something the board has to decide. So we haven't decided yet for right. January. Oh, right. So well, we, we should do that while the budget committee's here. <laughs> the date. It has to be the second because the the first one is the um, first is a Tuesday. Is the, right, January first is a Tuesday. Where is the calendar? It's up there. Oh, there right. yeah. What did we move to with you, Phil? What what days? First and third. We're doing first and third. Normally we're doing the first and the third, so. But we can't do the first this time. Right. Because it's a holiday. We could do the third and the fifth. We could. 15th and 29th? But then we're... Yeah, we got a warning issue. Yeah. Okay. Um, I mean, I think we probably could. Really running it tight. Nominating petitions have to be in when by the 28th. Oh. So I would like to send... I mean, you could do it on the 29th. They have to be in by the 28th of January? The nominating petitions do. The uh, special articles have to be in on the 17th of January. So anything after the 17th would allow for a uh, for you to create the warning. Okay. Ideally, you should probably meet that week afterward. After the 15th, if you meet on the 15th. And like, if you met the 22nd, that would be good. So, so what are you suggesting, Sarah? I'm saying that it would wait till the special articles are in on the 17th because then, so anytime after the 17th, then you can vote on the warning. So the 22nd, we'll, we'll have a meeting? So you definitely have a meeting on the 22nd. The question is, what's the first meeting in January? Hmm. When is your meeting? The 8th? Mine's the 8th. At what time? 6.30? 6. 6? I would suggest we have our meeting at 4 if people are up for it. Sure. Right. Just do that again. Is that okay with you, Phil? Or it's for me? Yeah. I mean, it should be a pretty... Uh, Pretty sure meeting, would you, I would, would think. But I mean, that, we we sure yeah, as hell don't want to do it on the right. on the first, and we don't do want to do it on the fifteenth either. Or we do it on the eighth at four. Yeah, we're doing on the eighth at four. You're you're not going to have anything to really go vote on. I mean, everything's okay. going to be shut down. So Does that be... work for the budget committee? So we're not we're not. Uh, I can do that. final budget won't be that day. Might be. Might be. Might be. If I get the number, so yeah. the eighth and the fifteenth can't be there. Can you call in? No, no, I'm not, no not, not fifteenth. The eighth and the twenty second. Okay. I might get there. Might not. Okay. Okay. We're we're a 
advisory, our presence isn't required for you. Yeah, right, it's true. No, but but we like to have your. Oh, we like to see your heads nodding in a positive yeah, fashion. <laughs> when you, I'm glad. Or shaking. <laughs> yeah. Guys, on the twenty second at five o'clock. And then move yeah. the fifteenth. Okay. Yeah. And then in February, and then just for the sake of it, we're be going back to the first right. and the yeah. the first and the third. Okay. Everybody, I will send you an email. Send me an email, January eighth, a warning. Okay, great, thank you. you Which would then would mean oh, the, 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 the fifth and the fifth and the nineteenth. Yeah, yeah. 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 That's, that's good for me. And then yeah. town yeah. meeting is yeah. right yeah. after yeah. that, you guys. Yeah. We're not in March yet. Don't don't go wow. off my whole ski Town season. meeting. <laughs> what? No, um, I, I, there's only four more meetings, and then it's town meeting. What's what's town meeting day? Yeah, March fifth. 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 Oh, the dare. Yeah. Anyone gonna be in Florida during that time, Steve? <sighs> I don't know. Well, I'm let, look, look, let, let's I think I'm fine. let's get through January. Okay. Okay. <laughs> yes, sir. So, have we concluded our budget discussion for tonight? I believe we have. Dorinda, you're good? Thank okay. you, Dorinda. Yes, welcome. thank you. Uh, John, are you here for the uh, Pelican Library? Okay, I just want you to know that John is here for the Pelican Library. Thank you. I know you know that. Wow, the budget um, went so, for a long time. Yeah, yeah, we're behind. behind we're way behind the eight ball. Um, I don't know how much discussion we want to have about the audit. I, I, I was one of those things that you and Mary were both saying, and that's why we're putting the things so that you have time to review it or whatever. Here's my thing, and I've been meaning to talk to you, Dorinda, and I didn't have a chance. I really like to understand those audits, and I cannot understand that. It is. I mean, when I think our audit used to be like seven or eight pages, and now it's forty pages, and money's coming and going. And I mean, I I can I, I can understand the big picture where we are, but really understanding that audit. So what I plan to do is is meet with the auditor. Now we can also have the auditor come to uh, come to one of our meetings, but. That tends to drive up the price of the oh, yeah. of the future audits, and I'm well, not sure it's worthwhile. I don't and know. It's already to that point. It's already like we paid two hundred dollars more this year than we did last year. And right. So, I think there's a bracket creep happening there too. So. But I would, but I would tell you what's what's going on, and I I see this with other organizations I'm part of. Is there's a lot more work to I mean. That paper doesn't doesn't generate itself. Every one of those pages has to be created and balanced and reconciled, and there's a lot more going on than there used to be in terms of doing these audits. Um, well, we can ask her to come the next. You can ask me to come to the eighth. I mean, yeah. Well, I go, well, here's the question. First of all, do you feel like you have a good handle on it, or are you feeling sort of the same way I am? Well, I. I mean, I was, we supply her all of our books. I'm confident in our books. So what they do is they basically come and they run all these tests to make sure our receivables are what we said they yep. were, our payables were what we said they were. Um, so I'm confident in those numbers. Mm -hmm. um, so it's really, you know, I think there's a lot of verbiage in there, <laughs> but... It's I don't worry so much about I don't worry so much about the verbiage. It's 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 the numbers. Well, and what the, I'm trying to say is she found no errors in our correct. in the information we provided. So if we're comfortable with our numbers in the books, then I think yes, yeah, she had to create all these documents, but it was all based on what we supplied her. Correct. It's you know yeah. so. Um, and she found no errors she or omissions. She didn't see right. us, yeah. you know. And if you're not seeing any corrective actions, there was no corrective actions. Right. There right. was that everything's following good accounting practices. I mean, that's that's what I always look. That's for. what. Yeah. yeah. No, yeah. I agree. Yeah. Well, I'm. Why don't we do this then? Let's go ahead and approve the damn thing. Accept it. I guess accept it is the right word, not approve it. Accept. Yes. Um, 
and I'm going to spend some time peering at it, and I'll I'll deal with her myself. I'll go over and see her or ask her questions or whatever yeah. if I have any. I just uh, it's just mind-boggling to me, and I mean it's like the it's like the accountant's retirement plan. Every year they create another report, which is part of these uh, part of these audits, and they're complicated. And if you really want to see something that's complicated, try and try and look at an ad, uh, an audit of a uh, publicly owned uh, company, like a Fortune 500 company. I mean, you can't you can't by the time you get done, you can't tell whether they're making money or losing money. Anyway, I am fine feeling exactly the way you do right now. I'm fine accepting the audit, and I will I will uh, do my thing to make myself comfortable. Thank you. Then I will make a motion. That we approve the audit that was performed by Bachelor and Associates. To accept the audit? Accept. To accept the audit. Is there a second? Any further discussion? All in favor? Aye. 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 Anybody opposed? Okay. We've accepted our audit. Now we need to let her know that and then she finalizes I, yep. it, right? Mm -hmm. See, we just okay. had an email from her. Yeah. Okay. Okay. And. Can we quickly do the appointing of Theo Kennedy to the planning yeah, commission? Yeah, Theo just called. He says if you've got any questions, you know, he's yes, at home. Yes. He's gonna he he hopes to come to tomorrow's meeting at the planning commission. So yep. yeah. Is there a motion? So moved. Second. Second. Any further discussion? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Okay. Congratulations, Theo. <laughs> <laughs> Are there still any more openings? Can you have as many people as you want on? No. The, no. no? So there's no more openings no. until someone doesn't run again next. Right. So there sure. are plenty of openings for March. Yeah, that's what I mean, for March. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Okay. Four out of the five. Oh, okay. Four out of the five well, are... Open. The slot's open. When's, what is a one-year seat that's So Theo know? will run again. Yes, he plans okay. to run for the, rest, the remainder of the seat to which he's okay. been appointed. Okay. So moving right along, Kellogg Hubbard Library's request to on, that's interesting, to on the 2019 town meeting warning. Sorry. What? To be put on. Sorry. It's fine. We know what it means. <laughs> Place the library's committee request as a special article on the. Oh, two on is on the headline. I'm, I'm just, sorry. I'm just needling it. <laughs> that's all. <laughs> Without having to do something. That's a writer you needle. And then there yeah, was right? this letter. Jeez. I know, an author. So, despite the weird syntax, I'd ask that this be put on your agenda <laughs> at the request of Tom McCone. Yep. Right, so. You were here last time. And I. Briefly, I, he feels that it. it takes quite a bit of staff time to do this. Voters have routinely approved this. And surrounding towns that aren't part of the Kellogg Hubbard line, but this is the closest thing to a government function we do. Stowe, Waterbury, Plainfield, Marshfield, other towns with libraries, it's a government function which doesn't require a petition. So he wanted to see how you felt. So this would be like an Australian ballot question. No. It would no? still be a special article. Oh, it would still they be a special would, article. No, it would be it. And we would, oh. we would, we, the select board, would, would put it on as a special article. Yeah. <clears throat> without them having to yeah, petition without them having for to get Similar signatures. to what you do for yeah. conservation. Correct. May I ask a question? Yes, ma'am. The libraries that are in Stowe, are they public libraries? Stowe is public. Uh, Marshfield. Waterbury. Or are they not? And Plain is the, the Kellogg Hubbard Library a public library? No. <clears throat> They're a non-profit organization. Right. right. It's an unusual So library. who funds the public libraries? The towns. The towns. It's probably the some towns. Some people give them money. Town tax. Yeah. Town tax. Town tax. A better example are the, the towns within the district that the, the sponsoring or supporting towns of the Kellogg Hubbard. Um, so it's the five... CSU towns in Montpelier. Montpelier gets like 300 something? They get the yeah. I mean, the question on, I think on the, the table is, is, is the um, putting it on the ballot with yeah. or without. Putting on the warning. Without, with more, yeah. On the warning with or without the need for petition. So we are not, just to be clear, and this is an important difference, unlike the city of Montpelier, 
It is not part of our budget. They're not asking for it to be part of our budget. Right. It's no. just that, that the request would be um, would be a special article. Now, here we go. We've had this discussion over the years a few times, various versions of the same discussion. And our concern has always been, if we do it for the library, who's next? Are we, are we, are we opening, opening the floodgates? And I've thought about that a lot. And, you know, I don't really think we are. I mean, we're not establishing a precedent and saying we're going to do it for everybody. Um, I will say I've been going to town meetings in this town, I think, for 40 years. And the library, there's been discussion at times, but the library has never not gotten its request. So what are we really accomplishing by asking them to do this petition? We're making them go through an exercise. Having had a lot of experience getting signatures on petitions, I, don't, I think the, the difficulty of it is, is somewhat overrated. It's not that hard to do. Um, as I said to you, John, I think I, you know four nights, four nights after school at the Rumney School, you've got your signature, and maybe one eighth grade or sixth grade basketball game, you've got your, uh, you've got your signatures. But you know, is there, is there value and meaning in going through that exercise? And the bottom line is, I would tell you there isn't much. I mean, I spend. I spend those times doing uh, CVHHH and uh, and Center of Vermont Economic Development with my with my wife. We tag team each other, and uh, you know, once in a while somebody asks a meaningful question about you know, and, and it's usually not uh, home health. It's usually CBEDC, just because people still don't, after all these years, really know what CBEDC is. But people certainly know what the Kellogg Hubbard Library is. And they certainly have the opportunity at town meeting to amend the request, reject the request. You know, it's not like we're taking we're taking that away from them. So I don't know how everybody else with feels. You. But yeah, if I may, may. though, there may be one thing to add that that would be in a year where the Kellogg Hubbard is asking for an increase. You know, I, I mean, I'm in agreement with you. Um, whatever the whatever the ask is this year, it's it's the same. It's the same. same. It still gets no. voted on. So yeah, yeah I, still no, I would it. say even with an increase, we if we're going to do this, we yeah. might as well do it. If do it's it. a cost, if it's a cost of doing business increase, I would say we do it. If all of a sudden they say we're going to double the size of the library and we're going right. to have a you know twenty five million dollar bond issue or some right some thing um, that would be I mean you know the, the way I think we would do that is we would say you know we agree we'll do it but we're not guaranteeing we're always going to do it it's not forever so let's mm -hmm. let's try it and see and see how it goes I agree yeah. It's still going to be a special article, except yeah. instead of by petition, right. it's going to say by the select board. That's good. Right. right. Instead of by petition, it'll yeah. be by select board. Right. And I don't even know if anybody even notices at the town meeting. And, and, and I do agree that it is a, it is a quasi, I mean, it's a little different situation, but it is a quasi public function. It's not like, uh, Heaven forbid the Waterbury Senior Center. Oh. <laughs> oh, yeah. All right, so should we make a motion? Yeah, go ahead. All right, yes. so I move that uh, the select board place the Kellogg Hubbard Library's funding request as a special article on the warning as opposed to having it done by petition. Second. Do, do you guys have a number that we can put into this? Do you know what the same number, number is? Last same number, right? Yeah, it's 29. So same number. Same number. You need to get us the number. We need a written. I would just like a number. Yeah. Right. Oh, definitely. It's in the town report right over here. Yeah, it's the same number as last year. That's what they were saying. I think in his letter, does he say what it is? No. No, no but he didn't in my... Uh... All right. So last, <laughs> last year was... 
Is it thirty thousand dollars? No, it's twenty nine zero eight one, I think. I got the report here. So twenty nine eight oh one. Just for just for record keeping, if, if you would have him send us a letter. Yeah, we can we say, you know, thank you for agreeing we don't need a petition. Mm -hmm. This is our request for next year. It should be a letter to the select board. Yes. Yeah. Okay. And uh, do you okay. want, so are you making the motion? Yes, I yeah. made the motion. Yeah. Yeah. Did you put any timeline on it? Because Peter was talking about maybe um, do it once or do you want to no, do this year? No, for this year. Just for this, this year? Or, do, do, or Let's just, can we just make the motion without for this, any kind of... Like, yeah. well, we, can always well, sure, we can always rescind it. We can always rescind it. Yeah. Okay. Elizabeth, the 29 paper. Okay. Mm -hmm. Moved and seconded. All in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? Who seconded it? I did. Okay. Okay. Great. Thanks. Thank so you. I'll send Tom an email tonight. You're welcome. Okay. Yeah. Great. I'll let him know, too, but you can officially let him know. You Tell them that his daughter. employees won't they be working should. overtime collecting signatures right. for Middlesex. Yeah. <laughs> make, sure they get, make sure they use all that extra time to do good work. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> like deliver books to you folks. Okay. Thank Thanks, you. John. Enjoy. Oh, oh, oh That's all the budget stuff. Yes. Thanks. Uh, yeah. Tell Cynthia I said hi. Would you please? Yeah. Peter, give us a call about stopping by. Yeah, I will. Thursday might be a good day. I will, George. Okay. Give us a call. Okay. Thanks. Yep. Thank you. Yay. Right along. Right along. Now we are, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, what's going on next? Approving December 4th select board minutes. Okay, I will move. Uh, Peter was not here. Oh, right. I was not but here. But there's three of us. Just, you were running the meeting. That's right. <laughs> In your absence. Hey, you took, took over the over. power. Yeah, so that's what I heard. It was a power grab. Yeah. That was a power grab. She took it right yeah. over just <laughs> like that. Yeah. So who moved no, to? No who moved chance. To I moved. Steve moved. And who seconded? I didn't. All in favor? Aye. 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 And I'm abstaining. Updates on newly created Washington Central Unified School District. Oh, oh, oh. oh, golly. Okay, well, I think I sent you guys, I emailed you the information we received, which was this letter from, this helpful letter that was just opened the mail on Thursday. You don't have a school district anymore. Right. So there's that. Um, and, uh, and the warning for originally for the January 9th meeting. Uh, that is going to create a temporary board, treasurer, clerk, that type of thing. Well, that's Very no longer approach, right. because they didn't, because, and to be fair to the to Bill and to everybody else, uh, the legislature has not been clear on a lot of the procedural implementation of creating a district, such mm -hmm. as things like, well, you're holding a town, you're holding a special school meeting, who runs that special school meeting? Are there going to be any board of civil authority members there? What happens if there's a paper ballot? Who counts them? Are there any elections officials? What's the warning procedure? None of this has been considered. So in talking to Will Senning, at the, who's in charge of elections at the Secretary of State's office, he said, I thought that it was as bad as it could get with the voluntarily joined districts. This is far worse, and we don't know the answers. But in short, Bill Kimball and the town clerks are going to meet here because I offered to make cookies on Thursday. <laughs> cookies off. It yeah. does. <laughs> oh, okay. So they're meeting here also because I don't have assistance. So I and I refuse to go to a superintendent's office to talk about stuff like this. So we were going we're going to meet here um, on Thursday, and I'll have some more information. But the bottom line is that there probably will be, to the best of our knowledge, more ballots in March than what we are currently, what we are accustomed to. So there'll be a town ballot, that, an Australian ballot. There will be a new supervisory, uh, new whatever is Washington's union. union and I District, think, yeah. I don't know if it's going to have a budget attached to that or not. I don't know how it possibly could. There's going to be a Rumney ballot, but the positions will be just for one year. I don't know if there's going to be a budget on that. There's going to be a U32 ballot, but Again, the positions will only be for one year, but I don't know if there's going to be a budget to that. So oh, at some point, there's going to have Why to be a budget. for one year? Because if it's really yeah, only until because July, isn't it, or something? I, yeah, it to, should be only until July. Well, it's you think, but actually the board might have to stick around and to accept end-of-fiscal-year year financials. So they might, 
And, and that is also up in the air. No one knows if those positions will be until July or if they'll be until December. So if they have to accept, for example, accept an audit or something like that yeah. at the Rumney yeah. School, uh -huh. they're going to yeah. have to have I a see, board. Yeah. So basically it took just tie up loose ends after July 1st. So those are the unknowns. That is where we are. The school district is gone. The lawsuit <laughs> proceeds. The what well, we just plow forward. Do the children still We're get the, educated? I do believe the children okay. get educated. Okay, that's a good thing. So okay. What about the what about the ma 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 money? I don't know about what the money? ma 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 money. They don't know. Well, can Dorinda sign checks? No, I don't think so. So once once I think what happens is once the we have that January fourteenth meeting, the a treasurer is going to be elected, and I think sayonara to all that. I am yeah. technically the clerk of the school district. No more. No after, more. No more. Right, but what I'm saying is, that letter says that school district is done right now, well, as of that day. I think this was a poorly written yeah, letter. Yeah, I don't think that's the reality. And I think that when we talk about the fact that they don't understand the procedural uh, as aspects, this is one of those one of those examples. So, um, I tried to help by putting like the warning on the on the web page and stuff like that. But you know, if we're going to have a special school <coughs> meeting, usually you have to post them five places around town. Right. So it's the, the concepts there, the, the process has not been codified. Right. Okay. So as far as we know, yes. and I don't mean this facetiously at all, as right. far as we know, Dorinda's going to get orders, she's going to pay bills until they tell her not to. I, oh. I think, yeah, I, I'm still doing it. I think I, I, right, I, I know. Right, I know. My guess is that That's what I mean. When you, all I'm saying is when you read that letter, yeah. it sounds like we're Can done. I see the letter? Yeah. And I don't understand, yeah, when you read the warning, not. I don't understand. So that's one of the questions I'm gonna, we're going to have with Bill. Like, is Dorinda going to be signing, uh, is she going to be signing checks until July 1st? Or is she going to sign, or will the check end, the signing end January 14th? And who swears in these people? I mean, it's... <laughs> I would think it would go till July 1st. Yeah. And as you said, if the board is going to carry over, it may in fact go a little longer because there may be some financial pieces That's to wrap usually, up right. over the summer while one is phasing out and the other Well, just like accepting out. an audit is a perfect example. So the Romney, yeah. Romney board is going to, they're, they're going to have to be audited. Their fiscal year ends June 30th, so at some point they're going to have to accept an audit report, mm -hmm. and there's not going to be anybody else to accept that audit report except right. for the vestiges right. of the yeah. Romney right. board. Well, yeah, and technically, you know, but, um, any property, any funds left, or any debts are yeah. left, are transferred to that new district, right. so you would want to have well, I that they, I thought they went back. No, nope. it goes the other way. It's the it's the Middlesex school district, and you know it is this. It belongs to the school district. And the school district no longer exists. The school district is a forming district. It's all very confusing. Okay. Our only role will be to collect their taxes. Our portion of them. And I wonder if that's yeah, even happening. I'm glad they really thoroughly thought this through. Yeah. It's like, you know, vital hey. records, they don't so, want, they, they were, there's all these changes to vital records, but the legislature never thought, how did you put these changes in the vital records? So everything has been delayed. You know, it's just the same, they don't do the procedural steps. Mm. They should have, when it all came down to the last minute, they should have said, well, you know what, this is going to be effective a year from now. So we have the time to get organized, we have the time to get all these people elected, we have the time to create a unified budget. We have the time to do a proper operating agreement instead of some, well, some that's the other thing. splash together. Because I think they have to have an articles of agreement approved. There's a quick timeline. They have to have like yeah. three meetings between that and town meeting and articles yeah, of agreement sure. have to be approved by yeah. the 23rd of January. It's nuts. Or it's well, thank of God it's, it affects us, but it isn't us. Thank God. Thank God is right. Well, I just thought you should know since so. you Oh, no, my bad. The, to the, and, and again, this is one of those things I, I had kind of like watched for a while. It's like, you know, the last thing you want to do is be mandated to do this. Right. Because you lose all yeah. the control in the transition. Right. Right. If you make the decision, I mean, it, it's like, okay, we, we can see where this is coming. Let's agree to do it before we get told to do it. We can at least then set the terms and the process and have it be smooth. Didn't work out that smoother. way. Smoother. No. And it's still, <laughs> not no, it's still not working out that way. Oh, Sounds like a consulting All opportunity right. to me. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> there you go. There you go. Okay. Well, 
Okay, more news to follow on that. Considering Washington Electric Co-op permit to move a 7200 volt electric distribution line closer to Culver Hill. Woo! Uh, just to give you some, you, Liz knows the reason for this. <laughs> I mean, lived without Three power. Three days of power outages. That's a mess back there Three behind Stephen's house. So they're trying. You to. were in, you were like in Colorado skiing, yeah. having fun with your family, <laughs> while I was gathering water, flushing toilets with gallons of water. Where's your generator? This is what happens in middle. Oh, that's why you have a generator. Now. I haven't gotten it yet. Oh, yeah, okay. It's being shipped. So anyway, that's the point behind this. Trying to get it out. I've seen I've seen the Brookfield services trucks all over Middlesex. Uh, I suspect there's a sudden end of the year boom. So I move that we approve it, the permit. So just do you know where is there a diagram? Just I mean we always we think it's um across the road from Sarah's house, the field, you know, the state fields next to the chapel. It's to begin near the residence of their house, and then there's attached there's the sketch. And uh, and Elias, who has a house on Culver Hill, just reviewed it. He was concerned. He's okay. So this is um, where are they saying these? This right here, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So um, and move it closer. Yeah. I think. Because um, they're very down deep in the field, like below, and it's just they have to like take their yeah, giant machines. Mike Patterson was here, and he said that once they they would repair one part of that line, it would break. It would just break. break, just break, break, yeah. break, break, break. It was breaking everywhere. It was so then they'll just <laughs> access it right from the road. Right. Exactly. It was a mess. It's you were you were that orange blob right there for that longest time on the WEC map. Oh, and then did you did did you see uh, that the other day Eric texted me? He goes, "There's seven people out in the state, and it's us. We're one of them." <laughs> it was literally like three houses in my neighborhood that were out again. It was pretty well. Bad. All I got so yes, I was out playing with my grandchildren and skiing and doing all that stuff. But every time the power went off, I would get an alert from my alarm. Uh. So, you know, they were it was turning it on and off, and then, and then, so I have one of these computerized boiler gizmos, very mm -hmm. high tech, very nice, but what it does is, it doesn't like it when you turn the power off and on fast. Oh, that happens if all you, day Sunday. If yeah. you turn it right, if you turn it off and the generator kicks on and then sometime later the generator kicks off, it does fine. So we get home. And it's broken. And our heat's off. Oh. was 40 degrees in the house when we got home. Good thing we got home when we did. You need a house so. sitter. So do you guys want well, to make a motion? Well, I'll make the motion. So wait a minute. Yes. I made the motion, but can I just ask something? So the reason that we're looking at this, because it's in our right-of-way, is that what they're asking? Does Sarah right. even have a say in this because of the right-of-way? The town right-of-way 50 feet from the center of the town? No, normally we just approve that if it's in the town right-of-way. Yeah. 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 Okay. So because I moved that we... Um, so were there one or two of them there? There are two, always two designs, these things. They're, they're the same thing. There's just oh, no right. permit okay. to move a 7200 electric distribution line. So you second. Okay. Any further discussion? Okay. All in favor? Aye. 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 Any Yay. opposed? Sign both, for, both things. It doesn't guarantee that we you're going to We all do, or he does. Yeah. We well, all do, I think. Don't we all do. It doesn't matter, though, because I'll have my generator that's going to light up the whole house. It is the best. I've had mine for a long time, and it is like, I used to have to pull it out of the garage generator. Yeah. Well, that's okay, but it only ran for a couple of hours, and then there was the business of being out there with a flashlight in your teeth, pouring <laughs> gasoline into the hot generator. Never, never seemed like a good idea to me. Well, no. I think we're still, actually, I think we're going to hook it up to the propane. Yeah, that's what mine is, is yeah. hooked but up it, to the it's, propane. But it's not as good, um, it doesn't, it doesn't go as long, right, on propane versus gas? Oh, it's I thought the other it, way around. How big's no. your tank? Um, well, no, I don't mean that. I mean that you don't get as much, um, as many Man. hours out of the generator. It uses propane. more gallons. It's like 30% more gallons of propane than, okay. than yeah, yeah. gasoline, yeah. just because they're less Right. Less now, do you BT. hook it up to your big big guy? Yes. Okay, do, is there like some, because we were, we were unsure about that, because we have a giant tank, a 500-gallon tank. Yeah. Well, then, right along. what yeah. you say to your gas company, which I've had mixed results with, yeah. don't ever in the wintertime let my tank get below half. Because if my generator has to run, it's going to use it four or five gallons, well, four yeah. or five gallons an hour. So, you know, if it's on for three days, that's a lot of propane. So 
So do we want to talk about correspondence? Okay, I think that's coming. Sure. No, we're talking about propane. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> talking about my generator, people. I'm sorry. <laughs> All right. All right. So I think this uh, biological... The letter. Yes. 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 All right. So you guys have a copy of that yep. letter, right? Yeah. yeah. Uh, does, does that satisfy you regarding uh, what yeah. action... What? Yep. Um, I guess so. I mean... Yeah. Yeah. Everybody's everybody's unhappy, so it must be a good resolution. Right. Yeah, right. I think so. <laughs> isn't that the isn't that the definition of a good compromise? <laughs> you know, or at least at least he wasn't screaming at us in his letter. But so no, is there any more junk though that, that goes beyond the um, no, there's no more junk? It was just the unregistered vehicles were the issue. Yeah, right. Okay. Neighbors are not happy with each other. Right. Well, yeah, okay. I mean, I would say that in general, even if there Thank were you. a situation, because I thought about this as after I read his letter, if there were a situation where, um, you know, it was difficult, he did have to move it and it was and wasn't able to register and they were really junky cars, that you would um, make a consideration for um, giving them until the thaw to remove the stuff. No. You they wouldn't? Had, well, if it was if it was a, the dead of I mean, winter at, and there was ten feet of saying. snow on the ground, yes. That's what I'm saying. But he he received the initial complaint letter before. way back before everything was frozen, and Sarah told him how to get the guy who, who deals mm. with bulldogs to come over. They could have had those vehicles had an out early there. Winter. And, yeah. It's such an early winter. Okay. Well, I'm he just thinking about some other neighbors yes. and junk. Yeah. So. Yeah. Yeah. I just want to be I able to take a minute whether or not this like light board is satisfied that, this, that they have complied. And we should, send, we should send him a letter. Yes. yes that's why I know. Okay. Um, RB Tech? We just talked about it. Was that the P? Oh, that was just oh that's, what we, that's what we yeah. talked about? Yeah. Okay. Any other? So you'll notify them. I'll notify them that we want more RAM for that computer and also do, do an assessment of any other computers. Well, that, that ask them if they have an assessment done, because I think Phil's right. I think, I think they, they did. I, I think they assessed the all assessment. of our computers at the time. Okay. Anything else? Um, to my knowledge or information. Ho, ho, ho. Merry Christmas. Six. Are you adjourning the meeting?